In a parking lot, you will notice pedestrians and other vehicles and fixed objects such as light poles. A blind spot is an area on either side of the car not visible in your mirrors or peripheral side vision. A pedestrian crossover, yellow flashing lights, or a school crossing, crossing guard, you must stop and wait until the crossing is completely clear from curb to curb. With emergency vehicles, you need to pull to the right if they are approaching from in front or behind. Always have a 360 degree situational awareness around your vehicle. In other words, a vehicle should never pass you without seeing it first. If making lane changes, you must always check your mirrors and the appropriate blind spot. Look to the side that you are about to go to ensure you do not sideswipe or cut another vehicle off. Again, this could cause a collision and or loss of control. Two, checking your blind spot involves moving your head so that your peripheral vision can see that nothing is beside your vehicle. You need to maintain a minimum of three seconds following distance between you and the car in front. This space cushion would be increased if weather and road conditions warrant. Failure to do so could lead to you rear-ending another vehicle. Two, you should also not pass too closely to another vehicle as you might sideswipe it, causing both vehicles to lose control. Failing to obey signs such as no left turn on red or a stop or yield sign would be a critical error as you could cause a collision. Failing to obey signals such as those on railway crossings or traffic signals would also be critical error for the same reason. Disobeying pavement marking, such as driving in a bicycle lane or making a lane change across a solid line would be considered a major error. Blocking the sidewalk or an intersection is illegal and would be a critical error as it is unsafe. Three, inappropriate speed could be a minor or major error, depending on the severity of the error. It could also lead to additional errors, such as turning wide. To do this properly, you need to drop your speed as you approach a turn, normally in a straight line. Use the remaining energy in the car to take you around the turn and do not accelerate until at least halfway around the turn. You must not stop or go too slow around the turn.